waiting on the no. Hello everybody, Blue Water Transparency. It is April 4th, approximately 10.30 p.m. We have a vehicle ran into the power line here on the corner of Boucher Highway and Huddle in Marysville. We had units respond to a suspicious vehicle at the boat docks not far from here. They had been parked there for two hours. So they removed units from this area and they have the whole lot blocked off so I'm not going to attempt to go through the blockade. But this is the aftermath of a power line down and all the power in the neighborhoods out. So I'm going to treat this like a police line do not cross. There is no tape here, but I'm not going to push it today. Um, as I was leaving the house, there was one subject exiting the vehicle. I haven't heard any other reports of injuries or other uh, passengers. So they're conducting their investigation and helping any injured. Again, the only news I have. Two. Over well, the. Thank you, back on the 2013 Dodge Charger. 2A Michelle Doncouth out of Trenton. It's expired, no insurance. That's out, uh, that's out on Lapeer and 24th. Yeah, they got the road blocked off. I'm not going to push it. There's nothing that says I can't go over there. I'd still be given under 10 feet. Yeah, I think that they should put tape up if they don't want me through here. I better turn my light on and let them know I'm here. Everybody can see me. They asked me to wear a reflective vest. I did a number on them. Uh, my phone's like on 20%. I fell asleep. Go ahead, son. Without it on. Sheriff's around the corner on his way to deal with this guy because they don't want to put up tape. Clear. Uh, we'll establish which in command here for any further communication. Okay. Copy, I'll show you on route. 327, status check. So, yeah, the power lines are down. Yeah. Oh, we're the traffic. There. Can you just advise one of the secure for rescue to respond to? Military in court right in front of Nikki D's DTZ 8949, David Tom Zebra 8949. I can't see the vehicle from this side, I don't think. They might have, oh, so in front of that car, there's space between the guardrail and you can see that telephone line right next to the fire truck. I can't zoom in any further. I didn't bring my other lenses. But it appears as if the vehicle went down there and smashed into that power line where you can see they're bent. Well, 
they never made no song called after the fire department, right? 11 and 23, status check. We're good. Happy. Okay. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. If you enjoy what I do, please tell your friends and family by sharing this video with them. All around Southeast Michigan, Blue Water Transparency, if you subscribe, it helps so that later on I can go live. I record with the external uh, SLR uh, as it is but it would help if I could go and have a live feed on my phone while I'm recording the events and documenting on my uh, the Canon Rebel what else oh if uh, you want go ahead and comment down below let me know how I'm doing let your officials know how your city's doing uh, if you disagree with me, uh, please say so. If you agree with me, please say so. I, I, I try not to... state a position. Six, seven, eight, seven, six. But sometimes I can't help it. Uh, if you're a police officer and watching, understand that uh, if I see a vehicle running, that's suspicious and requires further investigation, and I will approach. Sorry about that. 676 over the vault launch, your status. 14 status check. Good status. Copy. Uh, 676. We do have another. Somebody came through. Can we send rescue in? I wonder what that's about. Yeah, uh, anyway, things I look for is vehicles left running, especially in elementary school parking lots at 9.30 p.m. Uh, in an unmarked car. That's strange and suspicious. So I will approach to investigate. If I see um, your support of the thin blue line while on um, your public uh, duty in the course of your public uh, duties I will I'll address it and uh, if you approach me I will require your identification and badge number if I choose to approach you I still require your name and badge number but Okay. It's up to me whether I ask. Okay. I really, I, I, you know, I have to stay 10 feet away, but we can see what's going on from here. I don't want to get any closer. It's uncomfortable for me. We do have a car come past the barricade to watch me. You heard it on the radio. They came from uh, around the corner. It was over there on uh, Range and Trumbull or something. I don't remember, but it wasn't too far from here. They wanted to send somebody from the Sheriff's Department to watch me. So DTE will come out here next to repair that, hopefully tonight. All right. In my ex experience, they're, they're usually good on that. I wish they were as good with the road repairs. But yeah, when this is over, I want to see if somebody will talk to me about what happened because it appears as if the car veered off the highway on the other side of that guardrail there and, and proceeded to hit that power line. It's a single car accident and we have one one uh, person did get out of the vehicle
Uh, it's automatically suspected OUIO. Um, which I think is, I, that's ridiculous. The roads are wet. Um, it is cold. There's sleet conditions. So there's any number of reasons that could cause somebody to veer off the road in such an unfortunate state. There's a guardrail up there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get closer. See if this car follows me. Okay, so that is the horn going on and off from the wrecked vehicle. I can't get over there. There's too much, too much in the way. I'm just going to the next road sign to lean. Here's where it appears the car veered off there between on the other side of that guardrail came through either on this side or that side and that that pole is down. Uh, DTE is here. So. Oh yeah. So 